All right, here's the story today a lot of folks are going to be talking about. Alcohol sales are now going to be allowed at USC athletic events. The university will begin selling beer and wine at home football games and men and women's basketball games and baseball games starting in January of next year. Now this move comes after their decision by the university's board of trustees that they just voted on earlier today. Our Kaylin Hagwood was at that meeting and joins us now with what went down. Kaylin. I'm at the Alumni Center. The board vote was unanimous, adding USC to a growing number of other SEC schools, allowing beer and wine sales at athletic events. USC Athletic Director Ray Tanner shared the proposal for the sale with the board's executive committee earlier today. During that meeting, he was questioned on revenue and security. He says revenue from alcohol sales could vary, but may be a million dollars or more. We don't know exactly what basketball brings or, or baseball, and again, football, the success of your program and when you play. We'll have to go through a season to get a good feel for where we are. As for security, Tanner says they've been studying the possible impact of alcohol sales and believes there may be a decrease in incidents that occur because consumption is regulated. Here he is after the meeting. There's a lot of reporting from different schools that they didn't have as many incidents if they served and they controlled the serving, which we will. We'll have obviously more security if necessary, but the incidents went, went down when you serve inside the stadium. Those regulations include when and how the alcohol is served. For now, it'll be served in a cup and at certain times of each game. He also says they won't serve drinks near the student sections. As for what the money will be used on, they're considering bathroom and other venue improvements at this time. Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. All right, big changes. The SEC lifted its alcohol ban in May, and other SEC schools have been more quick to change their policies. You might have read in the fall, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri, Old Miss, Texas A&M, they all began selling alcohol during their games. Now, three schools, Alabama, Auburn, and Kentucky, have announced that they will not be making any changes to their current alcohol policies. Meanwhile, Florida, Georgia, and Mississippi have not yet decided or announced what their plans are. All right, so obviously this is going to take some renovating. The school is renovating williams Bryce Stadium as we speak and the facilities too. The University of South Carolina will officially begin alcohol sales in January when the women's basketball team faces off against Kentucky. So that will be the first game technically that they will be selling alcohol. And this brings us to our question of the day. And I know when we have talked about this before in the past, a lot of you were split on whether or not this is a good idea. So do you like the decision? Do you agree with the decision that they should start selling alcohol at Gamecock sporting events? Uh, or do you think we were better off without it? That's our megaphone today. You can go to WLTX.com backslash vote and tell us what you think.